So we've created an example of uh, what it would look like if you created a computer vision driven parking lot. Um, so rather than using that old fashioned RFID technology where you give each of your customers a little chip to scan at the gate and the, the arm comes in up and, they, and you walk in, let's replace that with a model that just detects license plates. Um, why might you do this? Well, there's all kinds of interesting things you could do with that. Um, it gives you live data about um, you know, who your customers are, which garages they're parking in, gives you the ability to do all of that processing locally. If you're actually running those computer vision models right at each location, it means that the garage can keep working even if uh, the internet goes down. Um, it's not, it wouldn't be super fun to tell your customers that they couldn't leave the garage because Cozy Bear uh, did a DDoS attack on AWS East. Um, not a fun reason to be locked inside of your, your parking garage. So for a lot of those reasons, you could take advantage of machine learning to completely um, transform the operations of your family of parking lots. But you have this challenge of how do you get these models out to each one of these garages all over the place? Well, that's what we're gonna show off today with this example. So we've got again, our central model store um, up in the cloud, that's Modsy we're gonna be sending out the models to 20 different devices, uh, 20 different edge servers. Um, these are relatively small edge servers as well. So these could be um, provided by, you know, just a simple desktop tower, kind of an industrial desktop tower sitting in the, in the kiosk, um, right in the parking garage. Could even be run on a, a relatively small edge device with four cores and 16 gigs of RAM. Um, and then we're gonna be connecting a live data stream to a license plate detection model that's running on each of these uh, devices. And then we'll see an aggregated data view of all of that, um, all of those feeds from your 20 different garages all in one spot. So um, I'll go ahead and switch over so that I can share my screen and give you guys a, a sense of what that's going to look like. And there we go. Okay, can you guys see my screen okay? Sure can, All right. Seth. Awesome. Thanks, Brad. So um, I'll just show you this license plate detection model that we have. Uh, this is an open source model. To be honest, it's not particularly good, uh, but it does perfectly fine for the point of the demonstration. Um, we can see some of the information about the model that's being used. And I'll just show an example of what this model actually produces. So it takes in imagery data. Um, it tries to identify a license plate, uh, draws a bounding box around that license plate and then attempts to predict and transcribe the text that you find on that license plate. Um, so we're just running this in the central model hub for testing purposes. Um, just to see a quick example um, for this particular car, it found a bounding box um, with a value of control Z, and that is actually correct. So that's um, you know one snapshot of a stream of video that might be coming in from, your, um, from a camera at one location. So I'll jump over to our edge device group for the uh, parking lot management platform. So what we can see here again is we've got a collection here of 20 different devices, all loaded with this license plate detection model. They each independently connect um, and integrate with the system. And then when they're connected, they're able to tell us information about the physical device. We got four cores and four gigs of RAM here at this location at uh, 1639 Borough Place. Um, and it has access to this license plate detection model version 0.0.1. So what does that look like in terms of uh, actual processing? Here's an example of you know, uh, sample video feeds processed through this model, generating these bounding boxes. But really the magic here is that we're able to run this across all 20 different locations simultaneously. So this is just a raw output, uh, not formatted, um, of each of these locations independently processing different inputs, um, identifying, trying to transcribe those license plates, and then returning them back here to my laptop. And so the idea here is that you can take these results, you can take these inferences and predictions coming from 20 different locations and pipe them into other management tools. So this might go into my um, customer relationship management tool, and I can figure out which of my customers um, vehicles are they using day to day? Which uh, locations are most popular? Maybe I want to use this information to help calculate uh, demand-based pricing based on which vehicles show up at which garages at which times of day. It provides the ability to start mining this data that's at the edge using machine learning and then pipelining just the results rather than the raw data itself back to the systems that I use to manage my giant parking lot uh, management company. 
Now, I do not actually have a parking lot management company, unfortunately, as much as I would love the uh, extra revenue. So we're simulating this across um, 20 different devices spread across a bunch of different AWS regions. But it performs the same concept where we're independently processing uh, video streams through each of these locations and allowing us to pipeline the results um, right back here.